as part of my annual checkup, I, I had been having PSA tests included, uh, and they had never reached uh, a number that was beyond the uh, the recommended for my age at the time. Um, but it started with a bit of blood present in my urine. The doctor cleared that up, but within a day or two, uh, there was a lump developed. It turned out to be a cyst, nothing to worry about. But I insisted that I go and talk to a urologist for whatever reason. I don't know, but we did. I was being regularly checked by my GP uh, with PSA testing and the uh, numbers started to escalate a little and then a little more and he sent me to a, uh, to a specialist. That guy looked after me for three years. Um, we did a biopsy, it came back positive and then he said, I think we don't need to do anything right now. Your count is all right, but we need to keep an eye on it. So uh, for the next three years, we had fairly regular PSA testing. The numbers grew a little bit, then all of a sudden, towards the end of that three year period, they started to escalate at a fairly fast rate. I had my normal two, years in, two yearly physical. My GP suggested that we do a um, PSA test in, in addition to the DRE, um, which I was only too happy to do. Uh, it came back a bit high. I was 58 at the time. Um, he said it was a little high, so he suggested that we um, treat me for prostatitis, so I had antibiotics. Um, at the end of that, the, my PSA had gone up again, um, so he suggested that uh, I go and see a urologist. Just not feeling well, um, just a bit off and decide to book myself in for a service, as, uh, as you do. And uh, I went to the doctor and the doctor said, Let, let's have a prostate exam and had a bit of a feel around and he said, I don't think there's a little bit there, but I don't think there's much there, but I'll tell you what, we'll send you to a specialist. And um, so off I go to the specialist, you do what the doctor says. And the specialist says, um, look, I don't think there's much there, but we'll, we'll just do a biopsy just to make, uh, just to make sure. And uh, a few days later, I saunter back into the doctor's office and say, what's the good news, doc? The doc said, well, the good news is, the good news is you came in because if you'd waited three years, I'd be giving you a few weeks to live. And uh, that was a bit of a shock to the system, wasn't it, Miss? Yeah, uh, you don't hear much after the word cancer. So that was, um, I think I burst into tears and that was, that was all I heard. He said, I think we need to give you a biopsy to, um, to establish a benchmark. Now, I'd gone in just for a lump that had been confirmed by the GP to be a cyst. The urologist confirmed it was a cyst, it was going nowhere. Uh, and nothing was going to be done to the point where I'm having a biopsy and um, unfortunately the biopsy come back really nasty and uh, it showed that I had a, uh, an aggressive uh, prostate cancer. Uh, 12 out of 16 cores were high grade cancer so. Well, I'm, I'm one of the, the lucky 5% uh, of 5% I think it was where the PSA test is the only, uh, is the only thing that caught it. So there were no symptoms at all. Did a biopsy um, and there was nothing there. So we just watched and waited. Uh, and then last year in June, around about then, uh, the, t the PSA was continuously rolling up through that period. So, okay, it's time for another biopsy. And then we did find something. And in that three years, it had pretty much taken over half of the prostate. Well, prostate cancer came into our picture in, when I was 49 and diagnosed with uh, prostate cancer. And um, from there it's just um, gone on with, um, we had um, a GP that was really, really good. He was really understanding. He'd, he believed in the PSA testing. I was picked up very early because he believed in the PSA testing. Probably six months after that uh, initial concern, um, I went and saw a urologist. He did the same tests, uh, came to the same conclusion that, I, that there was a chance I had prostate cancer. Um, he did biopsies, um, not very comfortable. He took 16 of them and four of them came back um, definitely for prostate cancer. So we had to do something.